The coal industry in America is almost dead, but it wasn't renewables that killed it. Just recently, the Department of Energy released a report that talked a lot about renewables and reliability of the grid and what's happening to the coal industry. Now, this was ordered by the head of the Department of Energy, Rick Perry. And in the report, they state that the biggest contributor to coal and nuclear plant retirements has been the advantaged economics of natural gas fired generation. So it's not that renewables and these other things are really the ones killing the coal industry. It is the natural gas industry itself. The report found that the rise of renewable energy sources such as wind and solar hasn't yet created any big problems for the reliability and resilience of the electricity grid in the US. It recommends that the department shouldn't intervene in energy markets such as using funds to support coal. Between 2012 and 2017, the US shut approximately 50 gigawatts of coal-fired generation capacity. If planned retirements are taken into consideration, the future for coal looks pretty bad. So when President Obama was in office, he created the Clean Power Plan, which was aimed at lowering emissions in the United States by capturing some of the carbon emitted and increasing the mix of renewable forms of energy like wind and solar. But in March of 2017, the Trump administration repealed this clean power plan, hoping it would, as he said, save the coal industry. However, this report from the Department of Energy suggests otherwise. Their report predicts in the future, we'll see more natural gas and far less coal and nuclear generation. One of the main reasons is because of how much more efficient natural gas is compared to coal and nuclear. While coal and nuclear are similar in terms of the heat generated during the process of creating electricity, the heat generated using natural gas has continued to decline, giving it a greater overall efficiency. The nail in the coffin for the coal industry, though, could be the addition of renewables to the grid here in the U.S. That, combined with natural gas, could deliver the final blow to an already limping along industry. A big reason for this is because the cost of renewables. Some forecasts suggest that the levelized average cost of electricity, LCOE, per kilowatt hour will drop significantly by 2025, making solar from photovoltaic panels and onshore wind the cheapest in the world. And we're already seeing a huge spike in solar investments here in the US in just the past few years. So I wanna say thanks to Rick Perry for ordering this study where I'm guessing he probably didn't expect these results, but now that we have them, the Department of Energy is really helping solidify that renewables are not a threat to the grid, but they're actually helping, um, as well as the reason the coal industry is dying has nothing to do with wind or solar or any of those other sources. In fact, Rick Perry will probably come around once he realizes how many more jobs are being created by renewable sources compared to oil and coal industries. In 2016, the Department of Energy put out a report showing that the solar industry alone employed more than double the number of coal employees across the U.S. But like any high-level figure like that for such a large country, that one number doesn't really tell a whole story. So the job disparity between different states wasn't equally distributed. And of course, in some states, coal was by far the bigger employer versus solar. However, the point here is that there is indeed a big market for energy workers in the U.S. And just because the coal industry is vanishing doesn't mean that the jobs will vanish as well. They'll likely just change from coal over to solar or wind or another form of energy. So I'm curious what you think. Is the coal industry really dead or is the government in the U.S. going to try to you know, put a life support on it and keep it going for seemingly unknown reasons? Leave me a comment down below. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, you can get on our email list at teslanomics.co. And lastly, don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. Thanks for watching.